what is going on guys this is again shrieks from smarter welcome to 28th ruby tutorial in this tutorial i will teach you about for loop now unlike while and until loop in for loop we don't have any condition so no condition in for loop this is the uh, this is our comment box and within this comment box i have written the syntax for for loop now this is a keyword for which is followed by a variable name which is a counter variable then followed by keyword in and after that we have to write range of values for which this variable name will vary the value of variable name will vary now this is the code which needs to be executed this number of times now let me show you an example for for loop now we don't have to initialize any variable here we can initialize our variable by writing the variable name here only now for i let's say i variable name in 0.5 dot dot now this double dot operator 0.5 dot dot implies the range is 0 1 2 3 4 5 if we write triple dot then it will show the value varies from 0 1 2 3 4 it will exclude 5 now let us use a double dot operator here all these things i have explained you earlier but still let's put this value of local variable i equal to let's use interpolation i now let's save it and execute it here we go we are getting the value of local variable is 0 within 1 then 2 then 3 then 4 then 5 this means this range of values varied from 0 to 5 and each time this loop is executed the value of i changes and automatically it is getting in in incremented unlike while and until loop where we have to put the code here to increment the value of i we don't have to do that the automatically the value of i will be incremented now let's move forward i will show you the alternative for the for loop now within this comment box here again i have written the syntax for alternative for for loop now the syntax is little bit different here we are writing the range within the brackets which is followed by dot each then again the keyword do then which is followed by again the variable name now the variable name is enclosed within these two symbols these two symbols are like sticks i don't know the name of the symbol it lies below the backspace shift then that key below the backspace you can get the symbol then the code then this end now each time this code is executed the value of this variable name automatically get in, gets incremented and its value lies in this range now let me illustrate you with a simple example let's specify the range again 0.5 dot dot i'm using the same example guys each do then that symbol it is similar to that or symbol let's say the variable name i this end now let's copy the paste the codes of here control c control v let's save it and execute it now here we are getting the same output as i told you guys it is almost similar to the for loop only the syntax is different and here we are using the different keywords also and different syntax so hope you understand what's going on guys catch you guys in next tutorial and stay tuned please don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment below my video thank you